So the testimony that I have is about God's provision and how he has provided for me uh, just abundantly. Um, most of you know my testimony of how years ago when God was calling me to India, he worked it so that with my job at Blue Cross, I was able to go and telework and actually receive a paycheck while I was living there and um, be able to do that work with his provision. But, you know, sometimes we can get mixed up and we get to looking at the blessings that he's given us. I, I had started to look at Blue Cross as the source of my provision instead of looking to God. And now he's calling me into a kind of a different season. Um, he's, he's leading me to adopt and that costs a lot. There is a lot involved with adoption. And at the same time, my work at Blue Cross, they were, they've stopped the teleworking, they were making changes, and it was getting more and more difficult to go in and, and to do that work. And I really felt God leading me to leave. Well, I'd been there for 15 years. That was my source, that was my provision, right? And it's just crazy to think about leaving a job if you're planning on adopting. It makes no sense whatsoever. And so I felt God leading in that direction, but just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I struggled with it for months and months and months. And then there was there started to be some rumors late last year about there being a little severance package for those who volunteered to leave, or for there being an offer of a severance package. So I said, well, okay, I'll raise my hand, I'll volunteer, I'll, you know, I'll take that, but maybe that's what God's going to do. And I went in and, and said, okay, I volunteer. And they said, wait a second, if you volunteer, you're quitting. Not only don't you get a severance package, you don't get your raise, and you don't get the annual bonus that you've worked for, for this. So I don't volunteer. I take it back. Um, but still... God's leading me. It's it's time to move on. It's time to move on. And early this year, um, it was on a Tuesday. I was working from home still um, around two o'clock in the afternoon. Just really had a time of prayer, and um, I felt like just just wrestling with God, struggling with God. And uh, He kind of said to me, "You know, you trust me to let me lead you around the world, but you're not going to." let me trust you, you know, you're not going to trust in me to leave this job, and I said, okay, God, that's it, I will, I will do what you're telling me to do, I'll go in first thing in the morning, I'm going to turn in my notice, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't have another job lined up, I'd been talking with Brent and Greg and uh, Brother Felix's son Jason about maybe going over to Merrill Lynch, but I didn't have anything official, what am I going to do, but that's it, you are Lord, so I have to obey you, so that's it. Tomorrow morning, I will go in. I'll turn my notice in. And this was about 2 o'clock on a Tuesday. At 4.30 that day, I got an email summoning me into the office the next morning. So I go into that meeting. There are a few senior staff like myself, my management, and somebody from HR. And in that room, they passed out severance packages. And I'm looking at it, and I had to just hide my face. I was smiling. Everyone else was a little upset but I was smiling. It was more than double what I tried to volunteer for last year. I am still, this was early this year, I am still receiving severance checks from Blue Cross, and not only I got a raise, so my severance is based on that raise, I got the annual bonus. For the first time, from being obedient to God, for the first time in my adult life, I'm debt-free except for my home. I have paid off my first adoption loan. I have a decent emergency fund in the bank. I'm saving money for the adoption towards my girls in India. Um, this week I was able to hire a child advocacy lawyer from India to be working on that for me. And I just thank him so much for his leading and his, his gentleness, his gentle prodding and provision. And it is, even when it doesn't make sense, trust him, he is your provider. Look to him for your source. And i that's my testimony. I just thank him so much for that. Amen.